You're watching Tactical Tips brought to you by Vertex. I'm Dave and this is Melissa and today we're going to talk all about going to the range. Range bags specifically. I've had an embarrassingly large number of range bags over the years because uh, some end up being awful, some end up breaking, some end up ripping. And a range bag can really be anything from like a Walmart bag holding a pistol and ammunition, but there's a lot more time and consideration you can put into this. Yeah, and that's why today um, we're going to be talking about the course of fire bags from Vertex. I have the Kof Light Range bag with me. This is an awesome bag, Dave. Um, I have a nice big open front compart or top compartment right here, and just super easy access. I like to keep a med kit right there, some organizational tools, and you know, of course, a pistol because that's important to have that at the range. Another thing that I love about this bag is it comes with a mag pouch insert. So right there, slides right in the back. Super great for organizing things. We also have this top pouch right here. We got the red Vertex zipper, so it's high vis, nice and ventilated. And a little key holder right there. And then we go to the front of the bag and also on the back, we have our Velcro. So I'm gonna stick my recoil patch right there. Got a nice uh, adjustable strap that's also removable. I'm gonna zip down the front right here. And this is really cool, guys. We have a removable storage cube that you can put ammo in. Um, Dave will go into a little more detail on this when he goes over his bag. I'm gonna slide this right back in here. We have another nice ventilated pocket. And one of my favorite parts is we have the Tactigami system right here on this panel. Now, I like to uh, use some of my Tactigami Vertex uh, accessories and kind of transfer my EDC stuff to my range bag so I have everything uh, where I need it, when I need it at the range. And I just put a little bit of Velcro on the back of these items and it sticks right here and it stays in place for when I'm at the range. Super awesome organization. I love the zipper pulls on all these Vertex bags. They're just really easy for access, so you can just quick, um, quickly zip them. This is a great bag. Now, this one is the 9 liter. Dave, you have the 15 liter bag, so could you tell me a little bit about that? Yep. So this is the Kof Heavy Bag, and as Melissa just said, this is the larger one at 15 liters. If you couldn't tell just by looking that this was the bigger one. Now, it shares an awful lot of the same features, which I'll go over, but there's some other stuff to consider. So this top panel here zips up. And what I like about these range bags is they're already pre-structured. If this was just like a big wide open duffel, immediately you'd have detritus and loose rounds and stuff in the bottom of this bag. It doesn't go too deep up top, but definitely deep enough. You, can, you could stack up pistols in a totally irresponsible manner if you were so inclined to do. Uh, our top panel here, I like to put tools in here, flat tools. Uh, you wouldn't want anything too bulky since it's the actual top, but little screwdrivers and stuff like that. This back panel here, this opening, uh, probably slide some pistols down here and there's Tactigami for additional pouches. It is hard to have too many pouches in a range bag or to have something be too organized, right? Pockets here up front. Now the zippers, and Melissa mentioned we do have great zippers on Vertex gear. These also have a little uh, key lock for like a little uh, TSA lock or something. And we're not gonna keep out uh, a mastermind criminal, but you might be able to keep away a curious kid. On that mention of security, there's also a coated steel cable running through the entire structure of the bag down here through the bottoms. Now, this could also be a point to lock something in place to keep away from the curious. Also, it just makes for a really good extra handle on the side if you wanted to grab it this way instead of from the top if you find that more comfortable. Front panel here. Like, like Melissa's, you know, the smaller one, we got the Tactigami panel. Something you might want to think about is if you're gonna be working on something on the range, uh, maybe your pistol optic came loose, maybe you have to switch something out, but either way, dealing with small screws and fasteners on the range, oh man, that is awful. Because normally it's a, the range top is black and you have poor contrast. And you get great contrast here on this work surface. And it's real easy to, to, it's much easier to work on something when you have good contrast in the background. Now we have the packing cubes that we talked about. Now, each one of these is two-piece. So, we have a mesh bottom drawstring, drawstring bag on top that you can cinch down, and the bottom is more structured. What this is great for is loose ammunition 
or for brass collectors. Right here, I got a few hundred rounds of 5.56 in this bag. Cinch it open. All those loose rounds. So if you're a if you're a reloader and you collect your brass, you can go. At one of these pouches is great to throw your loose brass in. In the structured pouch underneath it, got boxes of ammo. They stack much nicer and easier, and we all know that. So it's got you covered on both ends here. You can also transfer them to the top, I believe. Oh yeah, absolutely. Another good point because there is a structure in this bag that's weight bearing. You can pop them in the top panel too. You want something, maybe you're, on, you're, you're at a shooting competition, you're filling your mags, you can see it's a, it's a little higher, better workspace for you for filling mags or doing anything else from those cubes. Yeah, these bags are awesome. They pretty much serve every purpose you can think of when it comes to being at the range. Um, if you guys want to check out the full line of products at Vertex, uh, you can head to vertex.com.